I ended up having to replace the keyboard membrane, but that'll probably be another video in the coming days. All right, so I found one for sale on Amazon here in the U.S. apparently. Let's open it up and figure out what's going on. Huh. Retro Fusion. SX64R eboard membrane. I guess the R is for remanufactured, but eboard membrane. I'm guessing that's a play on words. Maybe dot 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 eboard because the K's not working. Cute if that's it. What square box? I hope it's not folded. Hmm. So it's rolled. Looks pretty good, huh? All right, let's get this keyboard apart, replace that membrane. All right, let's take this old one off. You can't really see here, but this was really kind of dirty and sticky before I cleaned this up, before I cleaned up the whole SX-64. But when I pulled this off, little bits and pieces of that surface was coming up. So here's hoping that new membrane will do the trick. And here you have side by side. Old ones towards the Right side, new ones toward the left side. Let's put that new one in. Alright, it's all back together. Let's check all the keys. Functions, no output, but you can see it reacting. Do a clear home, do a shift clear home, do a blah 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 blah, and run stop restore. Let's see some different colors. some cursor keys it all works and it all works very smoothly okay so what's the conclusion on this retro fusion Commodore SX64 replacement keyboard membrane well this is a positive review because it does what it's advertised to do it fits properly and it operates like you would expect. There's no stickiness, there's no issues with the keys, no double keys. It seems to be working perfectly. I am in no way affiliated with Retrofusion. This is just a review. According to Amazon, stock is low. It's also listed on eBay, but that may be different stock or maybe same stock. I do not know. In talking with a couple friends who are familiar with the SX64, it seems pretty common that you'll need to replace the keyboard membrane at some point for either taking apart the keyboard or it just sitting in not completely ideal conditions for extended periods of time. So that's about it for today. This one gets a thumb up. If you like this content, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps. Thanks, and see you on the next video.